with um, like your heater decoupled for some reason. I, I got this error and I couldn't figure out what was going on and I traced it and there was actually like no, um, there was no power going into the extruder. So basically the extruder wasn't getting hot. And if you look over here, there's a, um, there's like power connectors that come out of the main board and you just trace the signal all the way back over to this little guy down here, J4. And J4 is, I guess, a fuse, but it's not one of the resettable types. So once that fuse pulls too much current because of whatever reason, and then it blows out, then there's it doesn't reset itself. So basically, your your heater element stops getting the 12 volts required to heat up your extruder. So what you can do, what I did, the kind of lazy way, was just solder um, a wire to both sides of here or just take out this J4 and resolder it. It would be good to kind of look and see what R271 is. I believe it is a, um, it is some sort of fuse, so it, it's gonna be rated at a certain current and whatever it is, it maxed out that current. So I'm running the risk of kind of possibly burning up my power supply by just kind of jumpering J4 instead of putting another fuse in there, but I haven't had any issues with it so far. So if you want to investigate or leave in the comments what J4 is or R271, oh no, yeah, it would definitely be R271. Maybe somebody else knows what R271 is, or you could just put in something that kind of makes sense uh, as far as, you know, how much amps you think should be going into your heating extruder and just go ahead and order a surface mount component and replace that guy there. And that will resolve your problems with, you know, your your extruder just isn't heating up if it is in fact this fuse that's blown out. Some other people had issues with the the harness, but that was a uh, the older harness. And here is the uh repaired R271. I just kind of put some solder around it so it bridged from one end to the other. And now if I put a a voltmeter on here I can measure that this is going to have 12 volt output to my extruder when my extruder is supposed to be on.